the story caught my attention. It's not the kind of story that we do that really has like perhaps major implications for a lot of people, for entire country, region, all that. But it's about, I just read about this a few hours ago. The verdict came in, I think, at some point on Wednesday. But pretty much two Americans aged 21 and 20 have been jailed for life in Italy for the murder of a police officer in 2019. So here's what happened based on the Guardian article that I've read. And I tried to listen to a few videos, Americans reporting on it. But so pretty much apparently these two um, stu- and these two Americans who must have been, I guess, 18 and 19 at the time in 2019, they meet up during the summer in Rome. Like one of them was visiting family in Italy, sorry. And the other one was just coming to, I guess, meet up with him. And then they're out at night and apparently around midnight or 2 a.m. they try to purchase some drugs they make I don't know they get some contacts here and there blah 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 and then through someone they're like this one person's like yeah I can get it for you so the person goes and gets them the drug but then they say like oh this this drug is like aspirin it's not the drug and all of that and apparently these two teenagers then steal the middle guy's backpack And they tell him that um, these two Americans, they steal his backpack and they tell him that, okay, if you want your backpack back with your phone and everything, meet us here and give us the drug also and give our money back and everything. And you can get your backpack back. And this middleman guy, apparently, maybe he was an undercover or maybe not. That's not clear. But pretty much he calls or not an undercover. No, definitely he wasn't a cop. But maybe he like worked with them. What's the word? He was a informant apparently something that so the guy apparently calls two police officers the middleman and the two police officers show up in plain clothes and without their guns and apparently one of them even got uh, even got some kind of suspension or something for not having his gun because he was on duty but just in normal plain clothes apparently and yeah they show up they say that they showed their badge or whatever but pretty much one of these kids or both of them American ends up murdering him like he had like a knife the murder weapon if that's the case it's like a knife this big that he brought from the states and they murdered the police officer who who apparently the other police officer claims that they had identified themselves with the badges but of course their defense is that they didn't they thought they were getting robbed again or something so they pretty much stabbed apparently the officer the one who died got stabbed like eight times or more something like that all right so yeah and then so they tried to run away and they were like caught the next day and of course apparently in italy this was like a big case there are videos of like the kid when he was being interrogated he was blindfolded and everything so right now they're 21 and 20. so if this happened in 2019 they were yeah 18 and 19 kind of and yeah i mean so messed up i mean of course you feel for the family of the police officer so much of course the, and his wife is there and all that crying and all that so tragedy yeah. there yeah. but also yeah. these guys and i mean maybe it's just because i'm a bit of a younger guy much older than them and i don't want to like condone them or give them an excuse or anything like that but it just made me think that you know like a few bad decisions like that or one bad terrible decision like that you know can just cost you your life as well you your own life so not only did they murder that police officer and everything but unless they get some kind of parole and manage to somehow get out and even then you would imagine the psychological yeah. impact of all that but I think yeah you're just being a bit too nice because no i am being nice uh, i don't know why that yeah, that part of, yeah fact, like buying drugs in a foreign country from a clearly not a you know trustworthy source and then trying to blackmail that yeah. guy and then that's the part where I say about the bad, that's the part where I say like, just like the bad decision going like that. But yeah, the fact that someone is able to even like, let's say if you're getting attacked, I can see someone like having the will of like stab someone once and then run away or something. Even that is hard. Just imagine like really stabbing someone like you're going to get hit the bone and shit. You know, you're going to have proper intention. Like, not an intention, but you know what I mean. It's not easy, <laughs> I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. But... You gotta have a... Yeah, you gotta push. Well, anyway, but, but I think... Such a messed the, up yeah, story. The, I mean, the, the fact that they went as far as 
trying to blackmail a foreign drug dealer. I think that shows a level right. of exactly. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, whatever. Sad story all around though. Because, no, yeah, exactly. They were tourists, right? You Sorry. Said, so they were. They were tourists, right? Yeah, yeah, they're American tourists. They go to university in the States, so they hadn't moved to Italy or anything. They were just there for holidays. I guess one of them was visiting family. The other one um, came to meet up. They went out a bit, then they went to get the drugs, and then, yeah. Jesus, all right. Well, that's... that's a, yeah. It, it sounds like one of those movies they made, like Taken and stuff that is clearly <laughs> anti, like it's been funded yeah. by... Uh, America's local tourism board or something that you know trying to if you go to Europe you know you either get kidnapped and sold to a, like Arab sheikh or something yeah. or Russians come and kill you or something so yeah well anyway that's a very sad story yeah I know but there's a history of this a bit eh? you've heard about the girl who like she was the American girl who like for years she yeah, was accused of marrying uh, someone yeah and there's also that yeah, that was it? There is a British one that there was a wife of an American diplomat that ran over a guy. And oh, yeah, him. yeah. But that's in she Britain. She ran away to the U.S. And yeah, yeah. Did, yeah. In the U.K. Yeah, you hear still that one in the news a little bit here and there. And whether that person ah. was supposed to have diplomatic immunity and all that, yeah. But it just reminded yeah. me, last point, let's wrap this up, of a movie. I wonder if you like it. You know the movie where it takes place in Italy with Jude Law and all that from like 20 years ago, the the brilliant Mr. Something. Oh, the talented Mr. Ripley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a great There are a movie. few that's Americans who also go wild in Italy, I guess. They don't kill any police well, officers. They just... <laughs> Mr. Ripley was a... There yeah. is a, it's based on a series of books, but that one... And there's an older version of the movie with a French version, Alain okay. Delon. Uh, it's really good. I love that's one of my favorite movies, probably favorite character. But yeah, just a very tragic story and how you know just a couple of hours of insanity can ruin a lot of people's lives, including yourself. But yeah, okay, definitely. thank you very much for watching this story. We're watching this video. Sorry if you have some other information or some differences in opinions in our takes and stuff. Please share them in the comment section below. If not, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you in our next video. Thank you.